The thirteenth sutra is a continuation of the same philosophy of the karma siddhanta and the punarjanma, the law of action and the law of the law of reincarnation. The thirteenth sutra is sati. मूले तद्विपाको जात्यायुर्भोगा सती मूले तद्विपाको जात्यायुर्भोगा सती मूले तद्विपाको जाति आयु भोगा जाति आयु भोगा 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 इस प्लूरल तो सती मूले तद्विपाको जात्यायुर्भोगा दट इज द सूत्र सती इज बीइंग मूला इज द रूट सती मूले तद्विपाका दट रिजल्ट्स इनटू और इट्स रिजल्ट जाति दट इज अ बर्थ क्लास आयु स्पैन ऑफ लाइफ भोग एक्सपीरियंसेस तो इफ द रूट एग्जिस्ट इट राइपन्स इन टू स्टेट ऑफ लाइफ experience of life and time of life three things have been presented by maharshi patanjali jati ayu bhoga so the karmashaya being the root sati mule that is being the root what is being the root karmashaya because karma shaya is the root what is its result tadvipaka it results is birth janma and ayu span of life and bhoga experience so here we should remember jati is not uh, generally nowadays we understand as caste system it is not caste jati is a class manushya jati vriksha jati pashu jati vihanga jati class of trees class of human beings class of birds वाहन जाति क्लास ऑफ व्हीकल्स कार जाति क्लास ऑफ कार्स ट्रेन जाति क्लास ऑफ ट्रेन्स सो जाति इज ए क्लास ए ग्रुप हाउ रॉन्गली वी हैव इंटरप्रिटेड nowadays in the modern days and made a mess of this word in our society and a horrible situation is created so jati is the class so a human being that is the birth so being born as a human being will be born as a human being and he is he will be born as a human being because of karma shaya as a mula root the karma shaya is there karma is there unexhausted karma or to be exhausted karma 
are still there in the mula see the wonder of presentation by maharshi patanjali we are born it means there is some karma there is some action which is to be exhausted that's why the result of the karma is this birth or this birth is resultant of the karmas which are already there that is why the law of karma and law of reincarnation they go together karma siddhanta and the punarjanma siddhanta they go together and being born as a human being jati because it is tad vipaka it is the result is jati and not only jati ayu span of life how many years i will be alive that is the ayu and it is also the vipaka of the karma shaya sati mule that means we will be alive in this body till the karmas get exhausted once they exhausted we will give up this body the body drops and the life span is over that is the ayu not only that bhoga what type of life we lead experiences in this life whether it is pleasurable life or a miserable life whether it is a combination of good and bad whether it is a combination of sukha and dukha which is more this decision these happenings the bhoga is as per the karma shayas rooted sati mule and this is only tad vipakaha fructification of that see how beautifully marshi patanjali is presenting that jati ayu and bhoga are decided or pre decided already programmed it's not already programmed it was already decided it will be as per the storehouse of the karma sati mule so this birth and the age the life span and also the experiences we come across they are all the exhaustion of the stored karmas in karma shaya so patanjali has classified this under three heads so the jati is the class which determines the environment of an individual and the, our opportunities and the type of life which we will live and will be able to lead the opportunities which come to us the environment which comes to us in which we grow this is a as per the karma shayas so the kind of life a person lives is determined first and that is by the jati and the second important factor is the span of life the length of life the total number of experiences that is the ayu and the last one is the quality of experiences 
द क्वान्टिटी इज आयु एंड द क्वालिटी इज दि भोग ऑल दिस थ्री आर डिसाइडेड बाय द कर्माशय एंड बिकॉज दे आर रूटेड सतीमूला अगेन विवेकानंद वंडरफुली समराइज दिस पर्टिकुलर सूत्र इन ए क्लासिकल वे द रूट्स द कॉजेस द संस्कारास बींग देयर दे अगेन मैनिफेस्ट इन फॉर्म द इफेक्ट्स द कॉज डाइंग डाउन बिकम्स द इफेक्ट एंड द इफेक्ट बिकम्स मोर सटल एंड बिकम्स द कॉज ऑफ द नेक्स्ट इफेक्ट द कॉज एंड इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप द ट्री बेयर्स अ सीड एंड बिकम्स द कॉज ऑफ द नेक्स्ट ट्री एंड सो ऑन All our works now are the effects of past samskaras. Again, these samskaras become the cause of future actions, and thus we go on. So this sutra, aphorism, says that the cause being there, the fruit must come in the form of species. One will be a man, another an angel, another an animal, another a demon. then there are different effects in life one man lives lives 50 years another 100 and another dies in 2 years and never attains maturity all these differences in life are regulated by these past actions one man is born as it were for pleasure if he buries himself in a forest pleasure will follow him there another man wherever he goes pain will follows him everything becomes painful it is all the result of their own past according to the philosophy of the yoga all virtuous actions bring pleasure and all vicious actions bring pain any man who does wicked deeds is sure to reap the fruit of them in the form of pain that is a important dimension swam vivekananda explains this particular sutra and this also summarizes the law of karma and the law of reincarnations so the pleasures and the pains which we have to bear are not entirely dependent on our jati and it is based on our environment and under the bhoga all experiences in relation to their potentiality to bring pain or pleasure to an individual and all this are expressions manifestations of the karma shayas sati mule tad dipako jati ayur bhogah that is importance of this particular sutra and let us understand clearly that jati is not a caste caste it is a class let us conclude this sutra here and let us try to understand the further future sutras om shanti shanti shanti